Welcome back with us. Tonight I'll try to explain how and why we decided to get in Netflix on Friday. Um, it was a same day expiration after a huge push on Thursday. Um, I'll try to let you in on why it drew my attention on a specific line, why we decided to average down and why we decided to sell and what was the trigger. So basically looking at the chart um, Thursday, there was a big push on Netflix at about, you know, 520 to about 545 ish. You see there is a clear rejection uh, on a double top right here, double top. This is a little lower, so it kind of tells you that, you know, people are taking profit. However, the next day, same line here, we're just rejecting, rejecting, and then we start we were about to break above. This is what drew my attention. This is why, where I decided to get in. In fact, a little before, and I'll show you right where. Um, this is the line where I decided to get in. You know, rejected it, and then it looked pretty much as if we were about to break through this line. So <clears throat> the idea was if we were at 547, very close to 550. Going 550s at that point, I believe we were 222 per contract. So it's still pretty expensive. So in order to get break even on this trade, you need to close at least 552.22, right? This will close break even um, at expiration. The idea is not to get to expiration, however, is to make money on the way there. Um, it was a little expensive, however, it looked as if we could move and cross this 550 line with ease, and I'll show you why um, on the uh, daily chart. See, this is, let me get out of this. This is a daily chart. The previous day was this long, tall, green candle. And look at, this is what I was looking at. Basically, from um, my uh, profit taking, my PT was in 556-ish, and this is why, basically, here, see this poppy here, there's support, clear resistance, clear resistance, again, clear resistance, and let me get you back to where we were, same line. I was under the impression that we could rise to 556 in the 556-ish kind of, kind of play. So 556, if you pay 222, you're well in the money and it becomes profitable. However, it didn't happen quite that way. And it quickly turned around. Sometimes market makers see our move and they know that it could go that way. So they want to reject uh, our play. So here's what happened. Look on where it started tanking right this is support which we went but look at the previous day four o'clock just before the bell closing bell we came down to this line right and then we started hovering and same thing here um sorry this this little ball here this little hovering part part see how it's on support well it became support right here and this is where i decided to average down because i knew it would somewhat push a little bit um and if you recall the um the average down i believe it was a dollar uh, oh 60 66 cents for the average down uh, making it a dollar five dollar five per contract. Dollar five means we need to close at 551.05. Now that is a lot more achievable. Why? Because, I'll get rid of this again, because you know that retracing back to the high, at least testing this high from this low, this rise, we were here in 551-ish, right? And coming back to this point was more than probable. Same thing that happened, 
we were within pennies of that high on the double top, 551.38, which is if we had closed there, that 105 would be, we would, we would have been more than 105. But here we had a value of more than 105. Eventually we sold for, I believe, in, in the 90s, 90% 90 from, um, from this. So recap on the play. This here was the last resistance before 556 plus. Five fifty six plus. We blew the high of the previous day with some volume, but rejected something here. I don't know what it was, but anyways, came down. But we were still inside all the sellers. You know, we're higher than the sellers, higher than the sellers here, still inside. So basically, we're bouncing. We're still in bullish mode. And then the idea is to retrace to the high of the day or very close to it. See here, it didn't retrace quite as high as there. Here we could have expected the same thing, but we blew or we went right pretty much on it. So basically this was a little premature. This break was a little premature. Um, congrats if you took only this part to the move up. But the idea you have to keep in mind that this is what my, my kind of rule of thumb, the price that I'm paying for premiums and this particular, in this particular case, my average was 105. Am I going to be possible to be green on this at any point in time if we retrace to my target? And the answer was yes, because I believe that we could have gone to 551 easily. And this was this is what we got so in the end i wish we could have gone to 556 right away um but we ended up having a harder time on this bounce retrace back up there but again this is a loto same day expiration is extremely risky the idea you have to be very small with your playing size and in this particular case we it stayed between some sort of a uh, a channel however it could have been like this playing with us with no value to our premiums it would have it could have happened basically you lose all the value of your your play so it ended up being a profitable play um, but in the end, always be very careful playing this kind of thing. It worked out and basically I just shared exactly what I had in mind playing the play. So I hope you guys understand a little bit of, uh, what I had in my mind and don't forget the, uh, little reward we get is, you know, when you hit the like button and you subscribe to our, our uh, to our, uh, our little show here. So I'll see you again soon. Take care, folks.